What is going on, everybody? Continuing I the Mask, the last album, I guess, since 2019, of In Flames. Getting ready for Foregone, their new album. This is this is our house. This is this is our house. Kind of a weird way to title a song with the parentheses here. So it's house, but this is our. I don't know. Let's check it out. Uh, we just came off of Follow Me, which is kind of an odd one, tone-wise, from the first four. It's an odd tone choice. I would have preferred it to be completely stripped down and be acoustic. But let's check out This Is Our House. Hit like. If you're watching us on YouTube, you're late. <laughs> What the hell is going on? It sounds like the fucking B team is coming out. Wrestling reference. But. <sighs> uh, hopefully that's just the intro. And that's not like a fucking chorus or something. Because. Never a fan of chants. When it's like multiple. Like a crowd. Multiple people. Sound like a chant. It rarely goes well. No more of that. No more. I noticed the drums sound tuned different in this song than the others. It sounds like a little bassier. Sounds pretty cool though. I like it. Thank God the, the chant thing was not the chorus. I was scared they might that might be the chorus they used. Like oh shit, I don't know. That would be that would be no bueno. This feels kind of like a Chevelle song, doesn't that chorus? Not a bad chorus, but it felt more like a Chevelle would do that chorus more than uh, In Flames. See, the drums sound different. Is so 
coverage. We need it. I think we've gone too long. Gone too long. Now, now without any harsh vocals. Like, I, again, I'm, I might be the number one guy when, when speaking of In Flames and the clean vocals. I fucking love their clean vocals. Love, love, love them. It's kind of what made, like, the more closer to now, modern, whatever, era of In Flames, I prefer because they use the cleans more. And, he, and he's mastered how to use them. But now he's just fucking around. This is... we, Bro, don't don't abandon the harsh vocals. No, 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 no. No. We need to be intertwined here. There should be like some layered over top. Some screams over top. Because this... The chorus is catchy. The chorus is catchy. But does it not feel... I don't be one of those... Those fucking guys I always make fun of. But does this not not feel a little too commercially tasting for In Flames? Right? Like, I get it. State of Slow Decay. Beautiful, beautiful chorus. Great, clean vocals there. But they didn't abandon that guttural sound. This kind of, this one kind of is. This is the definitely the closest to a poppy, not like the, the artist poppy, but like a pop-ish sounding in flame song. This is, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. We still have about a minute left. But I need some more. So where's the whoop ass in it? Where's the kick ass? I need, I need a little more. Course was catchy. I'm gonna have to get some more alcohol in here soon. But the chorus <laughs> the chorus was catchy. And it sounded good. If that was a Chevelle song, like I said, z- zero problems. Zero. Maybe even a, a POD song. I'd still I'd still bitch about the, the chance. I just don't like it just me. It's a me thing. I don't musically like the, the cheerleading cheer chants. Very few songs have done them well. Like, I think Marilyn Manson and a few of his songs have done it pretty well. I think, I think there's like the fight song. He does it perfectly there. Is it the dope show? There's, there's another one that he does. What the hell is that name of the song? But he, there's a couple, actually. He's actually probably the master of using chants and it actually fitting the song and going well. But 99% of the time, Chants just don't go in music. It just doesn't. It, it, it comes off... It hits the eardrum, eardrum poorly. Especially in this. It didn't really fit at all. Like, where the hell is that supposed to fit? It just can't... It, just, it starts the song and ends it out of fucking nowhere. It bookends it with chants. Very strange. 
just just remove that, and the song is already a little better. It's already a little better. But this is definitely the low point. Low point of the album. I could see why they chose this as a single, though. Like it had a video and stuff, because it is very easily the most radio friendly, <coughs> commercialish, in flame song I've ever heard. Like that could have easily been on like a Madden. 2019 game or better yet WWE 2K19 easily could have had this song on there you know, like they try to keep it PG era ish now and it had a fight theme to it but I don't know man not a great song not a great song it was it was okay again catchy chorus but that's not this sound is not what, what we listen to In Flames for. And again, like uh, Stay With Me, that's uh, uh, fucking not heavy at all. So it's not about everything needing to be heavy, just stylistically. That one just felt dirty. This one just felt unclean. Just, or too unclean. So goddamn clean. It's wrong. It's just wrong. I don't know. On to the next. So now we have, we've had we've had four, well, five including "Stay with Me" at the end. Five they've been really good, so we're okay. No one panic yet. No, there's no panic, but we have started a strange path here with "Follow Me" in this, to where we have now detoured into a different whole entire sound from the first four songs. Can we write the ship? Or is this just what the rest of the album is going to sound like until Stay With Me? Oh, shit. I think that's the main, my main issue with Follow Me in this. And Follow Me is better than this. But a lot better. But my main issue with the two of them is the drastic, un, the tone. The tone just doesn't fit the other four songs we've heard. The transition was not smooth. Follow Me could have worked with a smoother transition or just being completely acoustic. This one just... I don't know. It just just didn't fit where... It it just doesn't fit on this album, I think. (coughs) Maybe there's a different In Flames album where this... You guys would know better than I do. Where this would be plugged into better. This felt out of left field for me in, in In Flames. I don't know. But let's continue on. Feel free to let me know in the comments section. Oh, th- th- Dan, you're a fucking idiot. This is the best in flame song of all time. That's fine. It's fine. We all have opinions. <laughs> it's, it's okay. On to the next. And time to get another couple beers. <laughs> 